caller here. Uh, we have a caller from the 904 area code. Caller, please uh, give us your name and tell us where you're calling from. Hi, Phil. It's Tom Santoni calling from the St. Augustine area, Florida. Hi, Tom. Yes. Hi. Welcome. Good to hear Thank your voice. You. Thank you. It's uh, good to hear your show, and I appreciate you what you and Larry have been doing for these years with the show, and I really appreciate uh, Ms. McKinney's uh, participation this week. Um, I'd like to just say, make a couple brief comments and then ask a question of each of you, uh, the same question. Um, first off, my pet peeve lately has been, um, especially in relation to this uh, Israeli-Palestinian war that's going on, um, is, is the, the language the words that the media and the government use to describe what's happening, especially, you know, the euphemisms, such as so many people are calling what's going on there a conflict. You know, conflict seems like such a soft, uh, inaccurate word to me. What's really going on there is war and murder. And if people started calling it like it is, telling it like it is, I think that, uh, you know, more of the public would, would get involved and, uh, and see it for what it is. You know, they, they call uh, incursions, another euphemism for invasion, you know? Mm. Let's tell it like it is. And stop obfuscating uh, what's really going on by using words like, you know, the rebels or the militants. I mean, who are the real militants? You know, and who are the real rebels? And, you know, it, this has just been a, a pet peeve lately that's, that has come up so much, even by progressive and liberal uh, so-called media sources and talking heads. Um, they, they even use words like conflict and incursion and soft words that don't really hit home. Um, but anyhow... Mm. Uh, I was listening earlier to what Cynthia was saying and and agree totally that we are losing. We are losing the fight for justice in this country and globally. Um, but I also agree with what she said, that we are powerful. Now, how does that reconcile itself? Um, and I guess this points to the question that I wanted to ask each of you, uh, the same question, uh, just a very brief response would, would suffice. But I'd like to know of you, Phil, and Larry and Cynthia, what do you think is the single most important way that an individual can get involved so that we can start winning? Mm. Thanks, Tom. Would you like to take that first, Cynthia? Larry? Cynthia? Well, um, that is an excellent question. And I encourage people to get involved politically. And I encourage people to actually run for office. Mm -hmm. um, the government is not them. It's us. And it's supposed to belong to us. And the us can't be them. The us has to be us. So I encourage average ordinary folk to run for school board, county commission, city council. <coughs> and we need judges because we have a gentleman by the name of Lawless Bill who's been silenced, but he went around the country and he collected testimony from people who have to deal with corrupt uh, administration of justice. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> so um, my answer would be for to encourage people to run for office. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Larry, did you have a <coughs> response? Yeah, I guess the, the I encourage people to to uh, uh, definitely uh, consider strongly consider what what Sister Cynthia just said. And in addition, uh, I want people to understand that we have to begin at where we are. I think one of the the, the 
challenges in this struggle is that uh, those of us who think we are, and I say, I, say it, I say this deliberately, who think we are conscious and aware, and maybe to some degree we are, uh, forget that there are the, the folks out there, the, what I call the everyday people, all have their own perspectives, their own experiences. And those experiences and perspectives are legitimate. They may not be of a particular ideology or what I call ideology, all right? But they, they have legitimate experiences. We need to learn to listen. As Cynthia said earlier, uh, a good leader is a good listener. So in our, in our, on our block, on our very block, let's talk with each other. Let's, 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 you know, engage in probing conversations. But let's begin at where people are. It's so easy, it's much easier than people think, to segue into other issues if we begin at where people are. And yes, on the local level especially, we act locally, we think globally. That's what I have to say. Thank you, Larry.